my video actually cut out on me. Um, so I think where it cut out was I was uh, speaking of things that the cities do and the media do. They they complain about the homeless population um, it rising, but they provide no legitimate solutions. They will say, oh, yes, there's help out there. And honestly, that's a lie. So, you know, uh, one of the, the many goals I'm hoping to achieve with my movements so regarding homeless lives matter is i want to change the way that the media and the city um interpret interprets the homeless uh i want to change the way that they treat the homeless i want to change the way that businesses deal with the homeless uh hostile infrastructure uh in particular i'm trying to get on the news and the news is just uh the media has been stalling on doing the story and so I've been trying to get the hostile infrastructure on the news. Look it up, Google it. It's actually uh, very inhumane, very cruel, immoral. Um, and it removes a homeless person's ability to uh, feel safe. There are not many places to be safe when you're homeless, especially if you don't have a vehicle. And that is why some homeless people choose to sleep on a bench or um, to be in a public area. They feel safer you know um in numbers or around the public or maybe that building has a camera maybe they're they're trying to hide from somebody that robbed them that was homeless they, just just in general okay um their thing is that they feel safe um now uh what you got the owner of the building of planet fitness and um connor baker the district manager of the area here for planet fitness um, have become a problem for people in vehicles. Um, now, Planet Fitness is known worldwide for overnight parking. There are federal laws that protect overnight parking. They are breaking several state, federal, federal, local laws regarding uh, parking and a few other things. And um, so, uh, aside from that, I mean, showing that level of hatred to the point you'd be willing to break the law on multiple fronts, um, even on levels of. Uh, unlawful harassment and things like that or slander um uh people here's the thing when, when you find a job and you're homeless right what is the most essential f function for the body to to uh to continue functioning or um to recover from whatever it's sleep now when you remove uh, places for people who live in their vehicles to park overnight you are removing their ability one to remain safe uh, they will people will choose to be in a well-lit parking lot for safety and um you are removing their ability to get a good night's rest before work and we all know i mean it's scientifically proven i mean if you don't get enough rest you can have mental breakdowns you can go psycho you know and, and this is actually part of uh, where, where, uh, being homeless can cause mental illness if, if someone experiences this level of harassment enough, uh, because they can't, they can't sleep. They're being told to move every time they find a place to sleep. So it's like, how am I going to work? They could lose their job because they're not sleeping enough. They're not functioning well, things like that. And, uh, the, the way that I am seeing this, uh, what I'm trying to bring to, to people's attention uh, regarding the parking issue is um, if they're not hiding out in their car doing drugs, getting drunk, getting high or whatever um, then let them have a place to sleep if they're sleeping in the parking lot in the daytime, did it ever dawn on you that they could have a nighttime job or uh, either mental health or health reasons that there would be for them to sleep for an extended period of time, so to speak. Uh, one of my uh, reasons for sleeping in the daytime, one, is my job is later in the day. And then two, um, I've always needed a tremendous amount of sleep. And then three, um, without my prescription pain meds, sleep truly does help me to recover uh, from working, which I've been trying to get on disability, and I, I doubt I'm the only one. I'm just giving you an example. 
So I will do my best to start covering the Homeless Lives Matter part more. Um, I have been waiting for people to do interviews with me. Uh, not too many want to go public. They, they're they scared to have their name online because they're afraid of retaliation from the city or the police, you know. Um, and it's, I've, I've only been able to get a handful of people who will do an interview. Sometimes I can't find them, uh, cause they don't have a phone or, you know, um, because the, I felt like the interviews would have a better effect than a commentary like this, but the commentary has become necessary because, um, I have not been able to get enough people to do an interview. So, um, that is all I have to say for now. I've already covered these issues in separate videos, but now they are into one video.